uh, the competition for the purchase of Anadarko. Remember, yes. it's a Chevron deal um, and a large deal, of course, one of the largest out there. But Anad uh, uh, Occidental, for its part, and we said this on Friday, but I want to update a bit, uh, continues to sort of try to figure this thing out uh, and mull its options in terms of whether it would be willing to potentially try to offer um, its price to shareholders um, in an unsolicited fashion. You have a breakup fee that would be there, but the differential in price is enormous. Um, people close to the situation tell me it was mid 70s from Anadarko. Mid 70s? Mid 70s. Not 70. Not 70. Mid 70s. I didn't know that. 40% of which was going to be cash, uh, and that they were kind of cut off suddenly from a process in which they expected to go into this last weekend with an opportunity to potentially even bid more uh, as they went up against, not that they necessarily knew who it was, but Chevron. Um, would Chevron have gone up from 65? Very much unclear. Speaking to people close to the situation, indicate to me 65 may have been the top. By the way, it seems Anadarko wanted more Chevron stock. There was a willingness on the part of Chevron to offer more cash. But in fact, Anadarko wanted more stock. And this may be very well where it sort of broke down in terms of Oxy's hopes. Um, even with 40% cash, if you do the math, let's assume it was a $76 deal, just say, picking one number there from mid 70s, you're still talking about them having to issue as much as $23 billion worth of stock off a $49 billion market cap. How would that have traded, Jim, is a oh, key question a that Anadarko point. was trying to understand. What would the percentage decline have been? For that, of course, a shareholder vote would have been needed. Would they have gotten it? Would their shareholders have put up a fight? All of these are things that certainly Anadarko and its board had to think long and hard about. But at the same time, saying no to mid 70s, 40% cash, and taking 65, 25% cash? I don't know. Wow. When you might have even been able to get a higher offer going into the weekend? Because remember, this thing got announced Friday morning. That was somewhat unexpected, at least amongst some people in the right. process. Right. Usually you get a Monday announcement right. well, or a I mean, Sunday I'm, night done, you know, board meeting done deal, Monday, uh, Sunday night, Monday announcement. I think Occidental has to, has to do a deal. You do. And Exxon has to do a deal. And I think that the company that I would say is most likely to get a bid now that that one's done is Scott Sheffield's Pioneer Natural Resources. Okay. That's the one that I think gives you rail, very good Permian. Uh, Scott is a very uh, shareholder conscious gentleman, and that's the one that's it's 28 billion, so it fits the uh, paradigm. Yep. And Occidental, David might have traded down to a five and a half percent yield if Occidental did all that. If they did it, the question is where the stock would have traded, given how much stock, even with. Now, by the way, they might have been able to come up even more than 40 percent to a higher even number in cash, but again, Anadarko did not seem interested. Um, didn't tell them that they were done, which I think is sort of make, making a lot of the people on the Oxy side sort of wonder what happened here as they try to at least figure it out. Merger agreement expected. I haven't seen it. I was expected this morning, but it's going to be the proxy where we really get the background that we get a little right. more information. That's going to be a while. You know, David